What's good, y'all? I hope y'all are having a great day. Um, I just want to come on here and give y'all a quick word of encouragement. Uh, so, uh, for those of you who don't know, I live in the great state of Kansas City, Topeka, the capital. Uh, and I love Topeka. Uh, you know, some people may not like it so much, but Topeka has always been good to me. All up until just recently, it seems like every single road is blocked off. Like important roads that you have to take. Highways, streets. Like, I'm like, bro, like I can't go to church, the gym, work without it being some type of roadblock. And I'm like, bro, like, come on, man. Like, you want to talk about irritating for anybody who lives in Topeka, Kansas, y'all know what I'm talking about. Like, I've been living 39 years. 40 will be, you know, next month, Lord willing. And I never lived in a place or visited a place where there has been this many roadblocks. And it agitates me. It ticks me off. I'm like, bro, like, why do y'all feel the need to work on the do construction on all the important roads at one time? Like, come on, make that make sense. So y'all probably wonder like why I'm talking about roadblocks on the Kingdom Talk video. You know, God revealed something to me. Um, you know, I had this revelation and he was like, you know, you see how all these roads are blocked off and you and everybody else, you know, is, you know, pissed off by all these roads being blocked off. You know, and it's inconveniencing you. Them people don't care nothing about y'all being inconvenienced. They are, they have a job to do. They're gonna do construction and work on them roads, and they're gonna take as long as they need to take. And they are not gonna care about how you or anybody else feels about it. And I'm like, okay, all right, Lord, where are you going with this? Because, you know, I still can't go to Walmart and get my cereal like I need to without being inconvenienced. <laughs> So he was like, you need to be that same way with your heart. Y'all, everybody watching this video has been hurt in some capacity. And our hearts need to be worked on. It needs to be reconstructed, you know, after you have been damaged. And so just like how them construction workers do not care about me being agitated because I got to take a detour route because they're working on the main road. You can't care about people get, getting offended whenever you're working on yourself, whenever you're taking time for yourself, because there will be people who will be offended. There will be people who tell you that, oh, you should be over it by now. You will, there will be people who will tell you, oh, you should be over it by now. One more time for the people in the back, because it's a big deal. There will be people who tell you, oh, you should be over this by now. But those very people who tell you that are the very people who are broken anyway and never had the courage to look themselves in the mirror and see all the ugliness and brokenness and don't want to work on themselves. Those same people are the same people who jump in and out of relationships over and over again for healing whenever they end up being more broken than they were from to begin with. Those same people are the people who will not allow God to come in and do what he needs to do in you so that you can do what he's purposed for you to do in his life so that you can reach the people that he's purposed for you to reach. You know, God can use broken people. He does it all the time. But there are certain things that you absolutely cannot do unless you're healed. Just like when you apply for a job, you might be the greatest nurse of all nurses. I'm just using this as an example. But until you go to school and get all the proper education that's required for that position, you can't be a nurse. You can't be a doctor. You can't be a lawyer. You know, like there are certain things that are required and healing is required. So don't ever let nobody make you feel like, oh, I should be over this by now. If you're not over it, that's okay. Allow God to work on you and don't and 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 don't let, you know, negative voices or people who telling you that you should be over it or you should uh, date by now or, oh, girl, go ahead and get you a man like that. No, no, it won't. It's going to leave you more broken than you were to begin with. Allow God to work on you. Go to therapy. Do what you need to do. And do not care. Like, just like how them construction people don't care about everybody getting mad <laughs> because they're taking too long to work on the roads. You got to be there. You got to have that same energy <clears throat> with your heart. Keep that same energy. You can't care about what other people think because this is your heart. 
not theirs. Let's heal. Let's heal. Let's heal. And let's heal. Because one thing about it, you know, y'all heard this old saying that hurt people hurt people. Well, guess what? Heal, healed people, heal people. I love y'all. Y'all have a blessed day. This Kingdom Talk. Catch y'all in the next video.